I am completely out of good video ideas. Where am I going to find more good video ideas? Filming videos is the only thing that makes me happy, so I stole this baby. It turns out you guys have been leaving me your childhood invention ideas for years. The only problem is, I can't sort through which ones are bad, which ones are terrible, and which ones are absolute dog water. So I started training my new advanced neural network to help me pick which of your invention ideas to build in real life. Alright baby, what's, what's the first idea that we've got? And I'm not giving him back until I've gotten enough ideas for a video. Can you let go? Thank you. Your first childhood invention idea comes from Inferno Monkey, who wants shoes that use a suction to walk on the ceiling. Wahoo! So after Googling how to suck on things really hard, I found these cool suckers with handles that construction workers use to lift heavy objects. And lucky for me, I live next to an active construction site that let me borrow their suction devices. Also, I stole that guy's rollerblades. This should be everything I need. It's got these two mounting points. So I have two middle brackets here. Then the shoe can attach to those brackets. It's very important that I cut all of these brackets perfectly identically so you can see that these two pieces are the same. For some reason, none of my parts were fitting right. Oh, I'm not strong. So I had to use a vise in reverse to force the brackets open. Oh, I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to do it anymore. Oh yeah, that's nice. So after drilling some nice looking holes, nice. Oh yes. And bolting everything together, I should have a real working pair of ceiling shoes. Shoes for walking on the ceiling. <laughs> I just remembered, I never told you how these work. The construction suckers, they have vacuum pumps in them. So it acts like a giant suction cup. I've installed these valves in these remotes. So when I turn this on, it's gonna suck to the floor and there's no way to release it. But when I press this button, it lets air in and then I can open it up. Check this out. Oh, oh. Oh, it's really hard to hold like this. Ah! Oh. Just like Michael Jackson, ex except for all the, the bad stuff. At first, I tried getting to the ceiling by walking up the wall like a cartoon, but I think that might be impossible. So instead, I'm gonna try using a pull-up bar and a table. Okay, I think I'm ready. Left boot, activate, right boot, activate. Just gotta get up to the ceiling here. Come on. Can you move this table for me? Huh! Oh! This is really weird! I'm gonna put this cushion under me just in case I fall so I don't break my neck. I am really standing upside down on the ceiling. I'm really scared about taking this first step. One small step for a man, one giant leap for a pan. Alright, let's try and open this up. Oh, oh my god! Oh! And then step forward! Uh, uh, uh. Alright, yeah, that was one step! Now I just gotta take another step! Oh! Oh god! I'm moving! I'm walking forward! And now I'm gonna try left foot forward! Uh, oh! That was a lot farther than I thought I would get, honestly. Left foot off, right foot off. Oh, that was really difficult. I was able to take two steps, but on the last step, I think the ceiling kind of broke. <laughs> that's not even my fault. That's, that's the home builder's fault for not accommodating upside down people. Inferno monkey, these shoes are freaking awesome. Let's-a go, eight out of 10. This next idea definitely sounds like a kid came up with it. It's basically a lightsaber made out of a laser and a mirror. Well, I already had a laser that's strong enough to blind people, so that's good. I had this exact same idea when I was a kid. I mean, it makes sense, right? How else would you make a lightsaber other than with a laser and a mirror that moves up and down so that it bounces off of me? It's flawless kid logic. So I found a car that nobody was using and borrowed its power <laughs> antenna. 
Then I 3D printed some parts to combine the antenna with my laser, along with a button for extension and retraction and a battery to power everything. Here it is. I don't really know if it looks like a lightsaber. It definitely looks like a science thing. <laughs> All I did was hot glue a mirror at the end of the power antenna at an angle and I got really paranoid about like if the laser was going to bounce back into my hand so I, I just I put this giant piece of cardboard here for the for the hand guard. Laser on! Oh, okay. That's very bright and now we're going to go ahead and extend, extend the power antenna. Oh my god, it's working. Oh my god, it's actually bouncing back and it looks it looks kind of like a blade, actually. Oh God! But when I move it even a little bit, it, it, it is. This is cursed. This is this is actually really, really bad. Like if I try and swing it around, do you see that? It's just it's just ending up everywhere. Like a regular laser is somehow like ten times safer than this stupid thing is. Well, okay. Let's see if we can kill anything with it. I guess. Balloon me, Audrey. Okay. Yeah! Oh, it didn't. It didn't pop. Balloon me once more. It, when it bounces back and it misses the the hilt, the handguard, it's hitting the balloon on the ground. If I literally hold the balloon in here for like a second, it'll probably pop. <laughs> yeah, but it takes like a full second for it to like actually do that. So far, this invention seems pretty disappointing. But what if we made it a thousand times stronger? So I visited my friend Backdoor Scientist to try making a lightsaber with a mirror and his 2000 watt welding laser. <laughs> Can you still work if I'm reflecting lights back in your eyes? Not really. <laughs> that is, that's not right, Kevin. Know, you shouldn't own this thing. <laughs> so we've got the laser here. It's gonna shoot to the mirror and bounce back to this piece of wood. Right now we're forming this like triangle blade here. Uh, don't pray for me. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, oh no. my God. It shot right through! Right through the mirror! That mirror didn't do anything! <laughs> okay, so now we've got two mirrors. Move the first mirror so that it's not the same blast hole. Put a second mirror behind it. If it blasts through the first mirror, then we're gonna make an infinity laser between the two mirrors. Three, two, one. Oh my god, it didn't matter at all! It went through both mirrors into the wood. Instantly. I don't know why I thought a mirror would stop this laser. It can shoot through plate steel. And look at what it does to this soda can. Oh my god! It made a hole through the LaCroix can. I give this idea 1 out of 10, and Kevin's laser a 10 out of 10, for a total score of 11 out of 10. If you've ever wanted to see me in person and Backyard Scientist and Code Bullet and Emily the Engineer and 75 of the best science YouTubers there are, we're all gonna be together in San Francisco on July 15th and 16th at Open Sauce. It's like if a YouTube convention and a carnival and a science fair had a three way baby. And Open Sauce isn't owned by Twitch or YouTube or TikTok. It's our event. We are making this for you. We've got a venue with over 150,000 square feet of space to fill with giant robots, interactive exhibits and art, and whatever crazy inventions you guys want to show off. If you've got a project, Open Sauce is accepting exhibitor applications. And we still have a lot of space to fill. And everyone can buy tickets today at opensauce.live. See you in San Francisco, nerds. Shh, what's the next idea, baby? When Simon Henry Berenz 253 was a child, he wanted a plunger grapple gun. So I found this plunger from a cartoon and then uh, hammered a thing onto it to pull some string through and then loaded it into a plunger grapple gun. It's, I, uh, I got tired of filming things. This CO2 cartridge and ball valve should make the plunger fly. And this whole hog with a hand winch connected with a timing belt should bring the plunger back. <laughs> Oh no, I've got to bring the trash back in, but it's all the way over there and I don't want to uh, walk. Plunger grapple gun, three, two, one. Oh my God! <laughs> I honestly didn't think it was going to be that much. Okay, well, let's reel her in. <laughs> it made itself go inside out. It shot out so fast it got inside out. I don't even care that I missed the trash can. That was awesome.
We're gonna try this again, a little bit closer, a little more stable. We got rat trap glue on the plunger now, in case it hits inside out. Let's line this shot up. Plunger test two, in three, two, one. Oh, how did I miss again? Come on! I'm just gonna reset really fast. We're gonna pretend like that one didn't happen. Plunger test two, three, two, one. <laughs> Fucking kidding me? That one didn't happen either. Plunger grapple test two. Three, two, one. Yes! Oh my god, oh no, it didn't stick! It didn't suction and then the, the glue kept it on for like a second and then it just didn't stick. Aw oh, man. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna stick this on manually then. Yeah, there you go. Yes! Oh my god! Just pretend that this thing can definitely stick on really, really good. Yeah! Oh! That's... Oh! That's... I guess it kind of works. Three out of ten, not as good as Fortnite. Am I supposed to feed you? You've been working for like 12 hours, baby. No? You're not saying anything. All right, you want to keep working? Wow, thank you. What is this one? Oh, lawnmower boots. Desanova wants lawnmower boots to make their chores easier. And honestly, I could use this invention too because I've never mowed my lawn before. I do have a pole saw, but it's too tall to reach the grass. So attaching them to boots should be the perfect solution. Oh, this is wire inside and it's like stretchy. So I don't know how to get rid of this without cutting this. So I decided to just leave the poles attached and use them like walking sticks. <laughs> I need to make this more stable so I don't cut my ankles off. Yeah, okay. So I made a little platform for my feetsies with the aluminum channel. Yeah, there we go. And then I screwed a boot to them. <sighs> yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you know that a coconut is about as hard as a human skull? <laughs> Myth confirmed! All right, that's enough screwing around. It's time to get to work. The lawnmower boots are surprisingly easy to use. Like, I, I bet a kid could even use these if they had really bad parents. And if I get lucky, maybe I'll find a gopher hole under these weeds. <laughs> I kind of thought I was going to die, but it actually works. This childhood invention might be the best one yet. Easy. Desanova, that is a 9 out of 10. Very good. I am going to give the baby back now. But first, I need to give it a bath because it smells like it has a poopy diaper, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> and now I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Brilliant. Because all I hear on the news now is AI this and AI that. And honestly, I don't actually know enough about computer science to know if I should be scared or not. But at Brilliant.org, they've got interactive courses to start learning science, math, and computer science. Brilliant courses are interactive and intuitive like this course on computer science fundamentals. You can get all the skills you need to stay ahead of the curve without having to spend years and a fortune on a degree. And these courses aren't like traditional lectures. They're more like games with fun features that help you learn how to think instead of just memorizing memorizing facts. Brilliant has thousands of lessons from beginner to advanced in math, AI, data science, neural networks. I mean, basically, you will never run out of new things to learn. You can try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days. And as a special offer, the first 200 of you to go to brilliant.org slash babyallen or click the link in the description will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. It helps support the channel and it'll make your brain bigger. So sign up for Brilliant at brilliant.org slash babyallen today.